All right, fleet video. Now, I actually tried this yesterday. I've done this a lot of times, but not recording it. Yesterday, I tried recording it, and I lost. So that's great to know. Now, my pits are 9, but I've taken three mods off, so that uh, XE goes at 191, whereas everyone else's R8's going at 192. Um, that's the rest of my bounty hunters. Um, I do have a few six dots off of Bam. So my, because he's R6. He's going at 181, I think. And CAD's at 182. There's one speed difference anyway. Oh, 183, 184. So, yeah. I do have CAD going before RC. It doesn't really matter that much, but I think it definitely does give you that little extra something in the battle. All right, so I'll take on KO. Um, he's got the biggest squad. He's got an R9 Houndstooth. His... Um, his RC will go before his XB. Um, 188 and yeah, R8. So a lot more meaty. The RC is this fight. If your RC is weak, um, there's no point even getting executed fleet. You just, you just unless you maybe take pit to R9 and then I guess you'll go first, but your RC will still get blown up through AOEs and whatnot and uh, you'll lose. So that's my lineup. I really only ever bring out Slave 1 and IG-88. Um, I have traditionally been bringing out IG first now, but I lost yesterday bringing him out, and I don't know. So they'll go first, they'll smash my RC, that always happens. And now I have to, now, because they hit, hit my RC, my HC will go. Always hit their HT. You don't want to give him any turn meter. Now, I do the same thing, whether I have all my mods on my R9 or not, I use this ability first and I put it on him. The advantage of going second is, as you see, I've just healed him up fully and I've given him foresight before anyone's done boo. Now, if my RC goes first, I just um, simple basic houndstooth so that I can get to this move here. On this occasion, go like that, bang, bang. And now you put a mark up on their RC and now you'll start killing him. Now the beauty of RC going after XB is that now that the mark's on RC, I can get another big hit on him with this. Hopefully double tap, beautiful. Now basically you're trying to kill their RC as fast as possible. Um, maybe there's a, a scope for just ganging him out now. I've not tried it, so I won't do it in this video, but maybe just use your AOE, smash him down. I don't know, that could actually work. Anyway, we'll try this. And I'll put this over here like this, because I'm going to hit him. Let's see if we can get a double tap. Yep, and we drop RC. So from here, it should be relatively easy. Um, I guess I'll put a target lock over there. Now, if I get to go before Slave, which I do, I will do that move on him. I've got a lot of uh, dodges, actually. Not, very, not exciting. him to attack. Might as well just kill him. So as you can see, basically I'm just trying to clean up now. The big the big thing is right at the start. Might as well kill. Oh, I didn't actually kill Slave One. Probably should have saved it. Oh. Um, I don't know, maybe bring this guy out. Why not? Mostly because our, our Slave's nearly dead and this will kill him. So I still haven't actually got my um my buff up. There it is, it's finally up. Um So as you can see I'm just I'm just killing them. Now I will oh well that actually kill them all off. They're um they would have killed me, their main their main ship, they would have killed my ship, and that would have obviously slowed things down a little bit. But yeah, that's that's basically it. So the big things to remember really are to try to mark their RC with your first move with XB calling the assist that means you have to hit if, if you're slower like I was on that occasion you have to hit the HT with HT and if your RC is faster you also have to hit HT with your RC and then just get your um yeah get their RC down as fast as possible and clean up that's pretty much it just clean up um yeah and I'm getting smashed in the arena well there it is I'll uh, share this video to my shard but I actually think going slower um, has its uses.
as you can see, I can fully charge up and foresight on RC. Whereas if I go first, I do that exact same move, basically kind of wasting it, really. Um, but you still win, it's the same strat. So it doesn't really matter, fast or slow. R9 R is kind of a waste, which, uh, you know, well, in this sense for mirrors, but it does help you against malevolence and negotiator, I would imagine. And that's why we wanted it for TW, I guess. So, yeah. There it is.